the otter who loved to hold hands. Every night when they go to sleep, Otto's family hold hands so they don't drift apart. And every morning when they wake up, they all let go again, except for little Otto. Otto worried about swimming. He worried about diving. And he worried about getting lost. But most of all, he worried about being alone. Every morning, Mom said, Please let go, Otto. I can't do anything with you holding my hand. But Otto shook his head. He didn't want to let go. I can't swim on my own, he squealed, clinging on to Mom. He knew he would float, but letting go was still scary. What if he drifted out to sea? You can do it. Mom said gently, but Otto shook his head. He didn't want to let go. The other cubs enjoyed playing, chasing, and splashing. Otto wanted to join in, but he just couldn't let go of Mom and Dad. Go and play, said Dad. I'll watch you from here. But Otto shook his head. He didn't want to let go. I'm scared," Otto cried. "Don't let go," Otto begged, as Mom tried to open an oyster shell. "I'm still right here," Mom sighed, but Otto just had to hold on. Mom and the shell bobbed and rocked as Otto clung to her. When Mom finally opened the oyster shell, Otto saw a beautiful shiny pearl. Gleaming inside it. It's amazing, Otto said. Oh, look! There's an otter inside, just like me. Otto reached out to the little otter and the pearl, and before he knew it, he was holding the beautiful pearl in both his hands. Otto saw a happy otter, floating all by himself. And realized, it was him. We are so proud of you, Mom said. Well done, Otto, Dad said. I let go, Otto cried. I'm floating on my own, and I'm fine. Hooray! Come and play with us, called out the other little otters. So now, every day, Otto splashes. And swims, and plays with his friends. He's a very happy little otter, but he still looks forward to nighttime, when he and his family hold hands as they drift off to sleep.